Daddy. <laughs> Debbie's father, I had to give you some inside information. <laughs> From Debbie's infancy on, she was, uh, she had to have her own way. She had her information that uh, <laughs> had to be her way with no compromise. And it actually reached the point where my wife and I asked Debbie, what would you like to have us do today? <laughs> when Debbie entered UCLA, she became interested in the autistic program. And a while after, Debbie asked me, would you and mom like to come down and observe what was going on here? And we said, we'd love to. And the time we did, uh, as soon as we got there, Debbie said, uh, Dad, would you mind watching the little girl while we took the rest of the class to, uh, to whatever? I said, I'd love to. And it had to be a little black girl who was about five years old and as cute as can be. And when the class left, I noticed there's a big table over there with a bunch of toys on it. I took the little girl over there and I sat down and put her on my lap. I said, I'm going to pick up a toy and I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to tell you what it is, and I want you to repeat after me what I said. So, first toy I picked up was a truck, and I showed it to her, and she looked at my face and repeated, truck, I said, as clearly as I said. Then I picked up the next toy, I showed it to her, and uh, I said, a fire engine, and she said, truck. <laughs> The next toy I picked up, and I said, airplane. And she said, truck. <laughs> and I knew immediately I was making a lot of progress. <laughs> but I'm being really facetious. That's a story. But when Debbie came back, I told her what progress I really made with this girl. Actually, she repeated exactly what I was saying very clearly. And she said, Dad, there's nothing wrong with this little girl. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever heard a big balloon explode, that's what happened to me. <laughs> so, but as I got ready to leave, I said, I really have to go now. But this little girl grabbed the hole of my shirt and started bawling with big crocodile tears running down her face. Well, let's go. And I said, I really have to go now. And as her tears actually filled my shirt and her dress, and finally she let go. I said, I really have to go now. And I just broke my heart. But after that, as she left, she said, Dad, if this ever happens again, I'm going to take you to it. Just put it, and uh, I'll let the class leave. <laughs> <laughs> that was my big experience with Debbie. But I'm very proud of whatever she did all, all through life, as I have now. And she's been a wonderful girl. I am so proud of my entire family.